Hey, everybody. Before we get into the show, uh, just a quick reminder. My comedy special, Thin Lips, is out right now. Uh, I'm really happy with all the support and everything that you... I, do I feel like I'm reading like from a hostage? Uh, I'm really happy with all the support. And No, but I just want to make this as short as possible because they it gets long and annoying. Keep watching. Keep sharing. Thank you, everybody that has. Thanks to everybody that, uh, that's watched it multiple times. You're the best. I love you very much. Let's get into the show. The Rap Jack Black and Sag Daddy. I'm back at it with a fantastic podcast for your asses. Yapping in a trap like a rescue cat. And the rescued up like they're waiting on the Batman. You tuned into the dude who threw booze back. Blacked out, woke up drunk, covered in bruises. It's Sag Daddy the Pod, an odd fellow. The great white chubby, I'm becoming a marshmallow. It's Sag Daddy the Pod, so sit back and relax. Cause like a broken arm, I got a cast now. It's Sag Daddy the Pod, you made a good choice. So enjoy, don't be annoyed. Now here's my dumb voice. Alright, y'all. Nicole's out here spilling more coffee oh again yeah but i have uh i have things now wow oh i'm doing it i'm doing it nicole's cleaning up the cut it's okay it's okay that i mean that couch itself is filled with who knows <laughs> coffee might clean it up you know what i'm saying what's up everybody um Welcome to another episode of Sag Daddy to Pod. Uh, this is Brendan Sagalow, obviously. If you're new to the pod, what's up? If you're old to the pod, uh, what's up? We got a great show for you tonight. <laughs> uh, Tom Cassidy is here. A uh, very funny guy, Philly guy. He goes on the road with the Are You Garbage fellas all the time. Um, lives in my neighborhood. And we just have a good, good bunch of laughs it's just a fun time um and you can see we're getting all christmasy over here so uh i hope you enjoy i'm so distracted by you cleaning cleaning it up i can't i can't even i can't perform um but who cares thanks for listening to the show thanks for listening to all things sag daddy watching the uh so what's your technique here when you when you clean up a couch I have uh, you're padding it. I'm I like see holding padding. paper here, towels and I'm uh, wet. Like, uh, can you just like do this alone? <laughs> I'm cleaning it now so I don't have to sit in it. Yes, of course, of course. We'll spray. I I, I have like like pet stain stuff. <laughs> okay. I also bought a bunch of cleaners, but not nothing for that. It smells good in here today, by the way. I, I well, maybe not good, but it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell bad. It's so a little stuffy in here. A little stuffy in here. But I actually prefer that. I don't want to open the windows because I don't like when flies get in. And they're all over the episodes. It, I look like I live in a fucking dumpster. <gasps> I do. Anyway, we got a great show for you tonight. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for uh, watching. Share with your friends. And we'll see you. Uh, we're going to get some new couches. I mean, I was going to plan to sell that one that Nicole sits on, but... I don't think anybody's going to take it with all these coffee stains on it. Get a side table, man. <laughs> I'm like balancing it on my hard drives. If only y'all could see the conditions <laughs> I'm in. Send help. You know, you know, be the change you want to be in the world. Be the change you want to be in the world. Is that it? Are you suggesting I buy you a side table? Buy a side table. <laughs> Get something. Grab something. Look at all the shit I have. Um, I love how everybody's like, ah, whatever. <laughs> Wait, your tree went out. The tree? <laughs> oh, there you go. Hey! <laughs> All right. Let's get into the episode. I'm thinking about getting a runner for that hallway. So now that you have the studio in here... Because you've talked about this before. Are you going to stay? I'm staying. Okay. I'm staying. I figured things seem like they're going good, you know? They're okay. They're okay. Enough to be able to... Uh, yeah. You I know. don't want to move again. I don't want to have to go through that whole fucking process. Oh, sure. It's so hard. But you seem like you were going to have to move, and now you don't have to. Yeah. Well, because, you know, I'm, I'm having a good year. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And you got this gear set up good. Look... We can bring this operation wherever we go. That's the good thing about it. That's true. Yeah, but right, I don't Nicole? know. This room is really big and good setup for it. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, your your apartment could never, right? I just think I would have to set it up differently. Yeah. I could. I mean, that's a pretty big... We just converted a second bedroom, that's all. Oh, really? Yeah. You have two I, bedrooms? Yeah. So, like, when you walked in, you saw that one bed? That's, yeah. like, our second bed. So, we have an actual... We have a bedroom. Yeah, I had to... Um... I had to save Tom's wife's life. Well, um, <laughs> that's not exactly what happened. No, here's what happened. What had happened was, I mean, we don't have to talk about this. It's, a, I mean, I just, there was a fire in my building. This is why I like Tom, because he he'll talk about whatever. He'll talk about whatever it takes. Sure. Uh, there was a fire in your building. There was a fire in you my building. You were away. We were both away. Me and my wife. I I in California. I, you were the one who alerted me of the fire in my building. Oh, and it was going off. It was like, <laughs> yeah, that was terrifying. Yeah, and then, um, and then, and then the firefighters had to kick down all the doors. Yeah, yeah, which they my do. door's still fucked up. Really? I mean, kind of. Your door was fucked up. I mean, it it's a little bit better, but Your it was door never kicked in. It was never the same. You know what I was thinking about? <laughs> Tell me why. When we park near a fire hydrant, uh-huh. does do we get a ticket if we're parked by the fire hydrant? Because, and I'll say this to say that, mm-hmm. is if you were going to park by a fire hydrant and there's a fire and you need my car out of the way, they destroy the car, right? They break the windows, they bust through the car, and they put the hose in. Now, isn't that a good enough deal you know what i mean i'll park by a fire hydrant and and risk if you, your car being destroyed exactly if there is a but fire no i will but no ticket mm-hmm. i will risk the car being destroyed mm-hmm. i will take that responsibility i mean i've always had such a deep-seated hatred for all parking meter people and mm-hmm. like all those parking ticket people yeah i'd say like they're the lowest rung of humanity Oh, I can think of so many more lower people. I can't think of one. I um, think the, yeah, those people, TSA, airport TSA agents. They're always so them. mean to me. You mean TSA pre-check? No, I mean just TSA. Like, Do you have TSA pre-check? I got TSA pre-check and I got clear. Don't you talk to me about nothing. <laughs> but they're always so mean. They're just mean. The New York ones, at least. I mean, I, I like people who work at the airport a million times more than people who give me tickets on my car. Tom, you're not going to get a fucking sale, like an airport sale or something. I don't know what you're trying to do here. I don't know what... You're trying to get it out there that you love people that work at the airport so that you can get an airport sale. So That's that you it. can get... You have one very long hair on your on your microphone and a cat hair. If you could get that, it just... I don't think I have ADD, Is that but... You? Yeah. <laughs> it's OCD. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> It's hard. It's hard to kick Distracting. Off. When does the now podcast start? We started. We I, started I about 20 feeling. minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I fell on the stairway up here, that's when we started yeah, the went, podcast. Keep filming. It was a hidden camera show. Keep filming this. Uh-huh. Um, let me ask you something, Tommy. Okay. So you're from Philadelphia. Yep. What's your biggest comedy goal? Would you like to play the uh, Philadelphia Stadium? Um, at this point, I'd like to not kill myself. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. <laughs> Do you really feel that way, though? Do you ever feel a like you want to kill yourself? Mouth. No, I wouldn't kill myself because I think life's too interesting. Um, Aww. And also, well, was that an Ashley Simpson lyric? <laughs> no, it was Jessica Simpson, <laughs> her sister. No, my biggest comedy goal. That's a good question. Um, I don't know. I find if, I think if I took a gun and I put it up to my temple, I'd go, "Ooh, cold," and then I'd go, "I can't. That can't be the last thing I say." Is that that joke? Uh, that Tupac <laughs> line of like, uh, like black people love their moms too much. Yeah, I like when to... I held that nine, all I could see was, was my, my mama's, mama's eyes. eyes. Yeah, uh-huh. and then Eminem's like, "I hate you, mom. Where's my I, snare?" <laughs> I know, I know. I was actually thinking of because I was listening to that song recently uh-huh. and him going. When I held that nun, all I could see was my mama's eyes. I'm like, I think if I put a gun up to my head and I saw my mom's face, I could I could shoot way quicker. <laughs> if I, I'm hoping my mom's face. When yeah, I held it. that nun, all I could see was my mama's eyes, and it made it worse. 
Why? <laughs> and I pulled the trigger quicker. <laughs> and I pulled the trigger as quick as I can. How am I even writing this song? I killed myself when Ooh. I saw my mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, spooky Tupac song. <laughs> Black people love their moms more. I don't know. It is what it is. He goes, and now I'm haunting the house. <laughs> and now I'm in your house haunting it. <laughs> Rest in peace. You know, I don't know what my biggest uh, thing is. You know, I haven't done, have you done like a big like arena? I have I haven't done an arena. The biggest I've done was uh I was opening for Theo. Mm -hmm. And I I did like a it was like 3000 people. Okay, that's or a lot. Or something like that. It was a lot of people, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've done big theaters with the uh Are You Garbage Fellas and uh I don't know if we've done 3000. I have trouble with numbers, but like you know like to me like the Wilbur and like stuff like that is kind of where I cap out. Like, I mean, I haven't really experienced an arena, so maybe I would like it. I just feel like it's it's too much. It's, it's not, not your style. I like comedy clubs, baby. You are you like a comedy I club? I can't feel those either. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> Neither can the audience there. when you're on stage. Uh, hey. They can't feel you. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Vagina feels. <laughs> Have a punch line. Uh, Shit, what was I gonna say though? God damn it. Now Do you like you, arenas or Well, with, you've been on, so you go on the road with the Are You Garbage guys. Can let's get down to brass tacks. Are you garbage? Can we cut this? <laughs> Is that possible? We're not cutting jack shit. Can we cut this in post. Nothing's getting cut from your episode um, ever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I have elements of that. But anyway, let's move on. Um. <laughs> Is that what you guys, you guys sit around and talk about it? And you go, you know, eventually you're going to run out of garbage things. You ever say that to him? You know, eventually. No, I think um, just because this country is so garbage, I don't think it ever runs out, baby. <laughs> are, those, are those Sinbad pants? Or like uh, MC Hammer pants? I'm they just realizing are, now. I don't know who... I don't. Those look like incredible I say Hulk yes. pants. Like, yeah, where he bought, he would he wear them. out of them. Yeah, like, these, they no, were purple, maybe. No, I'm saying like he would be like, these are good pants for when I turn into the Incredible. Oh yeah, these are good. These are good. These are good Hulk pants. But then they're green, and then he just looks naked, and then he's embarrassed, he's like, and then he. <laughs> I want to see the Hulk's cock. <laughs> the embarrassed Hulk. Yeah, he goes. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm not really naked. <laughs> these are just flesh colored pants I, I get, I'm, I'm feeling like confidence yips <laughs> like I haven't been confident in a while um oh who is your favorite superhero Spider-Man I love Spider-Man yeah you got Spider-Man vibes did I know you everything know? about you uh, <laughs> I know everything about you did you know and this is a very fun fact the street that me and Brendan live on across the street from us I've already said it and I've actually stopped saying it because I don't want people to find out where I live but people don't know I guess the street name you is in the movie you can easily no there are psychos out no, there. No, they Tommy. show the street number on the movie. There are fucking psychos out there. Tommy. Come get us, okay? We got Tom Spidey get us. on our Tom side. Tom Holland, get us. Yeah, we I got don't Spider care, here. man. Uh, you will care. You will care when I when I fucking am <laughs> buzzing your 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 uh, apartment. <laughs> Who's going up? Me. Spider Man, going, Tommy, they're they're surrounding my house. Um, look what you've done. But I love Spider Man. Yeah, and uh, so Spider Man lives across the street from us, and it was in a film, and when it happened. I just got done COVID, and I saw it on Christmas Day. Yeah. And Aww. When, and this is a holiday episode. Is this that when it's coming out? <laughs> these these are all pretty much coming out in December, I think. Okay. Really, fucking man, this is a long time from now. It's called doing. It's called it's get, fucking it's called May, getting the work Brendan. In. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's we have to pretend that we're cold. Uh -huh. <laughs> we have to, Ooh, burr, it's, it's Christmas uh -huh. time. <laughs> um, no, but so I saw that movie in theaters the day after I was like done with COVID, and when I saw it, Spider Man lived on my street. I cried. Legitimately, really? yeah. You cried. Why? Because I love Spider Man so much, and. I just thought it was like so beautiful that he lived on my street. Why was it beautiful? I don't, I mean. No, let's get down to this. What don't you understand? Spider-Man lives on my street. This is what I, I don't understand. Here. This you don't is what I don't understand. Beautiful? No, it's a, it's a movie. I also saw them filming it. 
this is how low my self-esteem is. I saw them filming it, and I just figured that there was like a henchman who lives in the street. I know. That's so funny. You're like, I was like there's no, no way there's Spider-Man. no possibly that Spider-Man lives in this shithole. <laughs> Spider-Man's not from this fucking- To be fair, in the previous films, he lived in like an apartment complex in Long Island City. They just changed it, I and know. they didn't say anything. I wish in the Spider-Man movies, you could just see me walking around and list- smoking blunts and listening uh-huh. to podcasts. <laughs> yeah. Listening to rap music while smoking blunts during the night. He webs oh. your blunt, grabs it. He, go- he goes, huh. <laughs> he goes that's not good for you it's motive it's not that would that would that's all it would take for me to become a villain in the spider-man universe i would okay. go do you remember me peter <laughs> i was the one that was smoking a blunt in our neighborhood the blunt you, goblin yes i'm the blunt goblin <laughs> <Grr>. <laughs> spider-man 2 is the greatest video game of all time we've talked about this too Right. Spider-Man 2 on PS5 and everything. Of course. Yeah, that what is the greatest superhero video game of all time. Yeah, I have a um, joke about it, and it doesn't work. What's the ever. joke? It doesn't work. But I think one of the funniest parts in any video game ever is when Venom, the bad guy in Spider-Man 2, yeah. which I start by saying he's ba- Venom is basically Spoiler. just a like stronger, scarier, blacker version of Spider-Man, which yeah. is pretty racist. Uh, yeah, that is funny. <laughs> he's black he's the Spider-Man. Villain. Yeah, he's, he's the black villain. Black Spider-Man too. But no, the funniest thing in any video game ever is when um, Venom turns Mary Jane into a Venom, but she's like a big red and mucusy yellow Screech, monster. or whatever her name is. I know, Scream. but I call her period Venom. Because <laughs> she literally like throws gigantic globs of period blood at you, and she's like, "You can't keep a job." <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean whole... she turns into my wife? <laughs> oh, so in the video game, Mary Jane turns into my ex mother in law. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so crazy that you have to like argue and fight with your girlfriend. Yeah, where just he's like arg- Jonathan Majors. I would. Ne- oh, that's is that the joke? That's one of the parts of the joke. Yeah. Like period you know what I like too. about your jokes, Tom? Mm. You really got to understand them to get them. Yeah. <laughs> got to understand references. You got to know, you gotta know who Jonathan Majors You got to understand is. Jonathan Majors ran away what from his girlfriend and then through. eventually beat her up a little bit. But she kind of had it coming. <laughs> she had it coming. She had it coming. Do, are, do you like musicals? I... <laughs> Wait, ask me again. Do you like musicals? Yes, I do. Do you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, cool. Wait. That was cool. Ask me one more time. No. Please. Do you like musicals? Yes, I do. How about you? Yes, I do. All right. <laughs> I didn't like your bit. Sorry. thought it was pretty funny. It was okay. Yeah, I worked at TKTS, Brendan. I don't know if you just set oh. me up. You're like, uh, you're like Conan. <laughs> <laughs> you like know enough things about my life, so you set That's me up with questions. The highest compliment. You're like Fat I can Conan. Have. Oh, come on. Sorry. I, you didn't like my bit, so I had to hurt you. Conan, Fat Conan would be like round, you know, cone round. Hmm. But yeah, I like Ronin. musicals. <laughs> Rounding. Yeah. So you like, you like musicals. Mm-hmm. That's good. What, what's your favorite musical? Wicked? No, my favorite, and it was just because it was a product of its time, but I also worked out there at the time, and I do really love it. I I love Hamilton. I think Hamilton was great. I, You know, I saw Hamilton after years of hearing... First of all, m- before it was popular... Mm-hmm. Well, it was popular immediately. Well, I'll tell you what. Before it was like big shit popping. Okay. You know? Big shit popping. When it transcended the white way. Yes, exactly. Before mm-hmm. all that. My mom called me, right? Okay. <laughs> I had a gun you know, to my head. I had a gun to my head. My mom calls me, made it way worse. Uh, um, uh, you know that video all the time where uh, what's her name goes, guess who Adele's jealous of? Beyonce. <laughs> you know I what I'm talking about? No. It's perfect. I'm on a real Adele kick right now, but go ahead. Adele Sorry. rules. Um, she does. So my mom called me, right? Mm-hmm. And she goes, uh, she goes, hey, we're going to see this new play, mm. this new musical. Do you want, do you want to come? It's called a musical, mom, you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I go, well, is it singing or not singing? Uh-huh. Um, well, she goes, do you want to see this musical? And I go, what is it about? And she goes, uh, it's about, um, it's, it's about uh, your, the forefathers, but it's all rap. And I went, that sounds gay. Mm-hmm. And I went, that sounds fucking lame. I'm not going to go see that. 
I don't want to see Benjamin Franklin being like, and a one and a two and a skibbity boo. I got the lightning and a stick. And then right. I uh, discovered electricity and now I'm going to do my stick. And everyone goes, oh, and it goes, and they go, spin it, Ben. I think this is why they cut ben, Benjamin spin Franklin. Spin it, Ben. I think this is why they cut Benjamin Franklin from the musical. Is he not in it? No, he's not in it. That's bullshit. I guess so. Benjamin Franklin's my favorite president. So anyway, <laughs> so no, I go. You got to understand the reference there, folks. He wasn't actually a president. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm like stupid on purpose, uh, obviously. It's sure. a little bit of the sagalo taste. Mm -hmm. And people think I'm legitimately stupid. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, but isn't that the, That's doesn't the that curse. make them stupid? Yes. And isn't that the point? Isn't yes. it kind of dumb? Don't you want to trick them? Yes, you know. I guess I don't know. It's confusing. I kind of want them like, to know that I'm being stupid on purpose. I don't want them to think that I'm actually being stupid. Well, I think stupid. the smart people know that you're being stupid on purpose, but then the stupid people don't. Ah. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> and it, so anyway, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, speaking of musicals, mm -hmm. so then I go, okay, so no, I don't want to see it. So they go see it, and then all of a sudden Hamilton kicks the fuck off, and I'm like, shit. Tickets are nine thousand dollars. I don't. I I can't go see this. Blah blah blah. And then I dated a girl whose dad had money. Mm. And she. They took us all to see Hamilton, and it was fine. I didn't really like it that much. Okay. I was like, this is fine. Um. Well, I, I mean, I saw with the original cast. So. Mm. Um. Oh, the <laughs> original cast, Lin Manuel Miranda. He's corny, but um, you know, God bless him. I've been patiently waiting to fuck a duke of Dayton. Yeah, that's how it Patiently is. Patiently waiting to eat up stuff to potatoes. Did you see Beetlejuice? No. That was very funny. I what was the last too. musical I saw? Oh, I I saw Book of Mormon for the third time. Mm. See, I didn't I liked Book of Mormon, but it wasn't like my favorite. No, it's it's okay. I think it's it, good. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I I mean it's really good. Mm -hmm. Not just okay, it's really good. Yeah, it's but great. It's great. I also feel it's like it favorite. doesn't I don't know, I wasn't like satisfied with it. I wish it was longer. I think in general with things like, first of all, those two to me are like um, the top two. Like oh, yeah. Larry David, yeah. them, and that's it, basically. And, um, yeah. Who else? Cosby. Sure. Of course. <laughs> um, no, I'm kidding. No. Obviously. But, um, no, yeah, you were trying to be dumb. I was trying to be dumb. I'm a dumb, dumb idiot. There's something so funny about trying to be dumb and then being like, you know, I'm being dumb. Right? I know, you know, I'm being stupid, right? <laughs> you know, I'm being stupid. No, uh, no, but okay, those, but guys, those dudes, those yeah. two, right? Their medium is television, right? And they obviously have like, you know, they did uh, Team America, which is like a musical, yeah. And they have like musical backgrounds, but that's not their Cannibal like, the musical. Too. That's not their focus. Like they're television guys to a certain extent. Like Larry David had a play. It was called like Big Fish or something. Yeah. And that was okay too. It's just like one of those things of like, you can only really be good at one medium or like that's your like thing. Like well, TV is their thing. Like it's like a musical TV guy that make thing, a TV show. There. It was Trey great. Trey Parker is like a music, like he I know. was like a major they in, are. in also, Book of Mormon is like the most successful musical of all time. So, is it really? I mean, it's up there. Yeah, definitely. It's still but right also here. South Park the musical, bigger, longer, and uncut. They're musical Cannibal, guys. Cannibal the them. musical. Everything they make has musicals. They're my favorite people in the world. Yeah, let's get them on the show. That would be cool. I actually saw them once. Like they were like shooting something for like sixty minutes or something, like walking oh, in whoa, Times really? Square, and I think they were talking. Yeah, like Book of Mormon was really you cool. Should have fucking. You should have been like, yo, yo, hey, yo, hey, do you guys like musicals? Yeah, you go, <laughs> oh yes, and you go, oh that bit does suck actually. Uh -huh. Being on the other end of that, the bit sucks. I'm pretty confident <laughs> that I like it a lot. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Why are you gay? <laughs> What's your middle name? Um, Blaze. Blaze? B -L -A -I -S -E. <laughs> no fucking way. Your middle name is Blaze. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Blaze? Uh -huh. B-L... How do you spell it? A-I-S-E. Now, where does that come from? Well, it I comes only from... knew lesbians with that name. Really? No, it's a boy name. I think it's a boy name more than it's a girl name. Anyway, um, the long story and the short of it is, I was born without a middle name, so my confirmation name is Blaze, and then my confirmation name turned into my middle name. Is there a Saint Blaze? Yeah, and guess what? He's the patron saint of throats, dog. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. Throats. Yeah. Like throats. Yeah. 
No, well, like so you, another version of throats. He's the patron saint of giving that fucking glock glock. Uh, 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 uh. I think it's more of like blaze smoking throats, that type of thing. But yeah, I guess you could. Are you gay? <laughs> no, that, that's 100 percent where my my head went to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the I patron guess saint of way. throats. I mean, that's something you call someone when you're trying to call them gay. I think it's like if you have like a throat infection or something, or you're like, you go, "What are you, the fucking patron saint of hand jobs?" <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. over there. <laughs> Listen, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, but yeah, so you cried about Spider Man. I did. How long you been into superheroes? Long time. Um. I got into it a couple years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A couple years ago. And no, you, just and kidding. Um, yeah, no. I. Um, if you could have a superpower, what would it be? To be invisible, so I leave here right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wouldn't work because you're wearing all your clothes, so we would just see a bunch of clothes walking no, away. No, my clothes would also be invisible. Oh, interesting. Um, so everything you touch turns invisible. No, just my clothes are invisible. <laughs> <laughs> like you died in them and that's you in heaven. Yeah, that's, no. I never got that. Whenever they, they show heaven or something and mm-hmm. they're not wearing like little robes, they're wearing the clothes like clothes. Mm-hmm. Doesn't make any sense to me. But robes do make sense to you? Yes. Okay. Robes made out of like a, you know, a a, sheath. A, 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 just a fabric that we don't even know about. Yeah. Well, yeah, I've, uh, you know, I think part of the reason why I'm a comedian is because of Spider-Man. Like, I mean, I've read comics growing up, yeah. but like, because he was funny, you know? Yeah. Like, he, I think people forget that part about him sometimes. Right. He was always funny. He was always like making jokes while he was fighting. That's all a part of what Spider-Man is. Sure. Part of Spider-Man is, is always, no Who's matter your favorite what, not Spider-Man? being scared. Um, Peter Parker. Sure. I meant in the films. Oh. Um, Tom Holland's Peter Parker. Okay. I think is is the best. I agree. Cuz Toby Maguire, he looked like he was 100 years old. I mean, we've talked we talked about him on the first episode of this fucking show. All it, those years ago. All those years ago, 22 22 weeks ago. Man. Or more, I guess now yeah, cuz this December. is going to be Yeah, this is going to be episode 100. 48 months ago. <laughs> 48 months ago. Uh, no, I love Toby. I think that's why? first fight. Um I know he is kind of gay, um, but that first Spider-Man movie to me is perfect. It's like a comic book in a movie. Like I don't know if you, yeah, I guess you so. watched it recently. It's like funny too, and like dark in a weird way. Um, Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> um, Green Finish Go- it. <laughs> Finish the prayer. <laughs> Green Green Goblin threatens to rape Mary Jane at the end of it. Does he? We're gonna have a hell of a time. <laughs> oh, what do you yeah. think that meant? Of course. He uh, goes, and then we're gonna have a hell of a time. I'm gonna Saint Blazer. <laughs> <laughs> the she's the patron saint of throats, if you know what I'm saying, Peter. They're gonna call me the throat goblin. Spider Man. Uh-huh. I'm gonna fuck you in your ass, Spider Man. <laughs> it's funny that like Green Goblin wants to team up with Spider Man too in that, and like he, does. he like he oh, Bill yeah, Cosby Spider Man, and Spider Man's yeah. like asleep, and Green Goblin like hits him in the head. Wake up! <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's like wake up. He's like you and me, we can wake take up. O- we can take over this. You know what? There's a couple. What's of- that? System of a down. <laughs> no, wake sure. up. Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man. Wake up, Spider-Man. Oh, God, I just want to put a little makeup. Spider-Man. Uh, here's some things I don't get from film and television. Okay. Specifically that Commercials. one. Commercials. Yeah, what? What's I don't the understand. Deal? What's the deal? Uh-huh. It, why, wouldn't, why wouldn't Spider-Man just say, yeah, sure, I'll team up with you, and then just betray him immediately? Mm-hmm. Like, keep your enemies closer kind of thing. Sure. Another thing I don't get. Answer us, Sam Raimi. Yes, Sam Raimi, and I'm sorry I said you suck in, the be- in all those episodes ago. We talked about this. <laughs> okay. We've talked about we can, this we Spider-Man. We can pivot if you want. No, no, no. I'll always come back to talking about this Spider-Man. Um, I will say, here's another thing mm. that I don't get. In- this is a big thing I never get in any television show or movies or anything like that. You know in a movie or a television show, sure. when they're eating something, right? Mm-hmm. And they're going... They're, they're eating, and they're going, what is this? I don't even know what this is. This is so good. And they're mm, and they're eating, and they're enjoying it. And then someone goes, oh, that's moose penis. And they go, <gasps> and they spit it all out. You just liked it. You were just liking it. What, are you going to not like it now because you found out what it is? Instead, maybe go, oh, wow, maybe I know. Maybe I like moose penis. Who knew? Yeah, this is a very specific example. It happens. It's a taboo in a lot of... It's in a lot of cartoons and stuff. 
Okay, so, well, you just said it was in film and television. I feel like I'm talking to my therapist. (laughs) So many times when I'm talking to Alan, I'll say something and he'll go, okay, so, (laughs) all right. I mean, I don't know. I watch a lot of film and television and I don't ever remember anybody eating something and someone telling them it was moose penis and then spitting it out. That's all. Well, moose penis is a light. You don't have, Uh it was, moose penis is just a a a filler. It's one of the things that people say. It could be, what what am I eating? Cat. Oh, If I was eating and someone's like, that's Can you give me an example of any of these uh, films or televisions that this has been in? Or cartoon, for example? I mean, you know, it's... I'm sure it exists. I'm just saying... No. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) You know what I don't like? Um, That's kind of similar, but different. Um, When people play, like, video games and TVs and movies, and they're always going, like... Oh, God, yeah, that's the worst. You don't move the controller? What's going on No, same thing with driving cars. Whenever they're driving cars in movies and stuff, they're always, like... They're always going, like... Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Just just play it. So that's something. Be an actor. Yeah. What's another thing you don't like? Koreans. (laughs) (laughs) Keep it. We're keeping it. (laughs) No, they're good people. we don't cut out anything here. No? No, we do. Unfortunately, some people... Some people need shit cut. Play a little fast and loose, huh? We play a little fast and loose, unfortunately. Every time I do an episode, I go, well, that's it. I've fucked myself. Especially the solo episode that's coming out today. I'm like, God, how much shit can I fucking talk? I'm such a cunt. Mm-hmm. You know, my mom asked me to stop saying the word cunt. Yeah, what did you say? And I went, shut up, bitch. <laughs> I went, better. all right. And then I called her the N-word. And I went, is uh-huh. that better? Uh-huh. She actually did say that cunt is the N-word for women. How do you feel about that? Um, I mean, you know, both uh, oppressed groups of people. Um, but it's not, you know. Also, I'm not, not at all. scared of women. <laughs> yeah. You know? So there's that aspect of it. Yeah, I don't say I'm not scared of black people either, but they could beat me up. Right. Yeah. Right. So what you're saying. So if the logic f- if if your logic is correct. Wake sir, up. <laughs> wake up. You're saying it's no, impossible not to say something offensive to your point. It's yeah. hard. Sometimes we're also comedians. I just yeah, well, you know, you, know you don't want to. There's tons of comedians that can uh, easily uh, avoid uh, that yeah, shit. But also, uh, yeah. it's just fun, you know. You're talking all this time. You're eventually going to say something messed up. I also like shit talking comedians too. It just is so fun. Do you? Well, like I'm, I'm just, I'm kidding for the most part. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I just like, I don't like people thinking they're untouchable. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Want to take somebody down right now? Let's take some people down. Okay. Let's get, let's get our fucking. Let's get scary. Who you want to take down, dog? I don't know. I'd want no. you to go. <laughs> Sarah Squirm. <laughs> Funny gal. <laughs> well, I guess we're not taking you down. Uh, fucking. Um, I don't know. I don't have anybody else. Green Goblin. So many names just popped in my head. Sure. Spider-Man. <laughs> I would love to have Willem Dafoe on the podcast and just That'd have him nice. keep doing that. And uh, before we go, can we give a, can you give us a quick Spider-Man? He goes, <clears throat> I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man. We don't need him. We have you. I am. Do you do any impressions? Not really. I did as a child. Like Beavis and Butthead and stuff like that. Oh, I could do Beavis and Butthead. Uh, I can't anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Hey, Butthead. Uh, <laughs> I haven't yeah. done it in so long. Oh, 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 oh. I always think about Beavis and Butthead. Um, there's a mm. there's a couple of jokes I'm always thinking about them. Mm-hmm. There's one where whenever I walk through a Target or a Macy's and I see um, mannequins with underwear on it, mm-hmm. I think about when they're like, Hey, Beavis, if we touch the breasts and then the girls wear the bras, if we touch the breasts of the bras and then the girls wear the bras, it's like we touch their breasts. <laughs> that always makes me laugh. And then there was another one where, in the most recent season, where they're told, Where they're eating something and Butthead's like, hey, that's cow penis. And he and goes, Beavis is like, ah! <laughs> uh, where he goes, they learn about white privilege, white mm-hmm. male privilege. Someone goes, you have white male privilege. Friend, these are the old episodes? This is a new episode. Oh, okay. New season. And they, he goes, he goes, what's that? And, and they're like, that means you can, you can do whatever you want and you'll never get in trouble. And they're yeah. like, 
we have that. (laughs) And they're like, yes, white privilege. And then they just start smashing things and like breaking stuff. And I was like, that's just one of those things where you're like, how has nobody thought of that? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think uh, that's like one of the funniest things about Beavis and Butthead when they like realize something and there's that like pause and then that happens. But yeah. Um, Are the new episodes funny? Yeah. I mean, they're, that's they're funny. still just that as funny, good. yeah, yeah, and they're like better drawn and everything. Do they still look at music videos? Yeah, they look at and they're looking at like modern. That not only sure. do they look at music videos, they look at like TikToks and stuff now. They look at like modern oh, shit. Good, they're they're uh, you know they're updating with the times. Are they old now? They are right. No, no, they're the same. Well, um, there was a couple episodes where they were adults, yeah, and then they were like, "This isn't working. Let's get." Them. I don't know. I don't know why they changed it. We'll have to ask Mike Judge. Uh huh. Now, this is a Christmas episode. Sure. As you can see, we've got Merry Christmas, everybody. Christmas Happy Hanukkah. Disney. Uh, Disney. <laughs> I just said Disney. Disney! We, Merry you know Disney. what I want for Christmas? Disney Plus? Disney. I, I got Disney Plus. You know, that's the problem. Now that I have Disney Plus, I know I can never sue the parks. Mm, yeah. You hear about that? I did hear about that, yeah. The, the mom died or whatever? Somebody died, yeah. I think it was like a mom. Yeah, and then because the guy, they had Disney Plus for two weeks in the fucking thing, and Disney Plus says you can't sue the parks. I try to be positive, or I'm trying to be positive, but it is just funny. It's just like an example of just living in hell. Yeah. You know? Now, why are you trying to be positive? Because I think it's important. <laughs> mm, it is important. <laughs> to try to be positive. It is important. It's also a thing, though, when you think negative and you're like, I want to be positive, and it's like, it's not that easy either. Because you've like trained your brain. Right. You know, right. You ever cat, like, I used to say I hate my life so much that I started to believe it. Uh-huh. You ever have one of those where you're like, I got to stop saying that? I just, yeah. Well, it's like, uh, what's that called? When you get into the, uh, what are those called? When you do something. I know something. exactly what you're trying to look for, and I can't find it either. A mantra. Look- no. Oh. But I mean, it works. No, no, um, no. You had a specific. Well, life is about, like, uh, what's that called when you do something Can you leave every that day? On there, please. I don't like. The random cat hairs on the microphone. Are you allergic to cats? No. No. Um, no, when you do something every day, what's that called? Masturbating. <laughs> Clip that chat. <laughs> Clip that chat. <laughs> Classic fun. Yeah, sure. Okay, but let's get to the real word now. When you do something every day, you make it a habit. You're like, a so habit. your thoughts are your habits too. Yeah. So then when you're like, I want to be positive, but your habit is negative thought. It's like you got to break it. Not to be it. phony and positive, but why be negative? Another <laughs> Tupac line. That is not Tupac. That is Tupac. <laughs> no way. What's the matter, G? Black cat got your tongue. Fat track got you sprung. Now you're hung. Do you feel me? Who's your favorite rapper, Nas? I don't. I think I lost taste in my mouth when you just did that. <laughs> <laughs> you lost taste in, of musical artists in your mouth? <laughs> you really do know a lot about me. And I like how you ans- asked the question and answered it for me. I go. <laughs> and you're right. Yeah. Nas. I do love Nas. Yep. Yeah. yeah what do you like so much about him? He's my favorite. <sighs> um, I just, you know. Uh, What's I think your favorite he's... Nas line? <sighs> so many, so many come to mind right now. That's why I'm. Uh, <laughs> um, I like. Um, we can go to a commercial. Please. Uh, stick around. Tom will be right back. I'm waving automatic guns at nuns. Oh, great! He was like the original Eminem, like his first uh, song, Jeez. but he was black. Oh, really? Um, he was saying his he first was song. He had like stuff. shot bars of like that type of stuff. Yeah, I was waving then. guns at nuns. I'm waving automatic guns at nuns. Um, I'm waving favorite, automatic but... guns at nuns. Rappers are monkey flipping with the funky rhythms I be kicking. Yeah. Um, but no, uh, you know, he's also very consistent. Like, to me, I know you like Eminem. I feel like Eminem, um, it, all of his music past the last, the first three albums to me, just Here like it comes. absolutely Here suck. it comes, yeah. The <laughs> and classic. I think, and I think that at Nas, like Nas has put out like six albums in the past like few years, and I like like all of them. Um, oh, so it, you like it. So it's got to be true. To me, you is. like it. I can't listen to a whole fucking Nas album. Not one album except for Illmatic. You could listen to Stillmatic. The whole way through? Yeah, I think you could definitely listen to Stillmatic. I mean, I tried. could. Would I enjoy it? I don't know. I think you could but listen to Godson. Do- no. I think you could... Um, no. I mean, you're saying everything you can do. 
Well, I know I'm saying I'm basing it off of what I think is palatable for you. Now, I don't. I think he chooses little wrong white ears. beats sometimes. I'm like, what is this? Eminem's so, your favorite? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Yes. Okay. I, I'll feed into your... I'll feed into this. Yes, Tom, Eminem is my favorite. Make your point now. No, no point. I just don't... I, I don't really uh, get it um, past the first three albums. I like the 8 Mile have soundtrack, too. Any, do you have, any, have you ever had any um, mental problems? I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Clip yeah, it! True. Um, Clip it, chat. Uh, no, but um, yes, of course. But I mean, I don't know. There's... There's obviously like good songs and after that, but I just I'm not gonna have this conversation with you. Okay. And I'll tell you well, why. We are having it right now. No, nope, I'm bowing out. And we're back. No. <laughs> I mean, I thought I'm, the last album, that uh, that album that just came out to me Death of Slim Shady. Sucks. Why? I find it unlistenable. And like oh. I understand the Okay. The angle that he's trying with it, but it just yeah, yeah. annoys me. You understand the angle? And I just find it boring. You find it boring, huh? There's don't no you? sort of growth. Oh, there's no growth. No. I like that. Tyler. I think everything you said is absolute bullshit. <laughs> okay. I think every single thing you just said <laughs> just is the absolute M&M part, bullshit. Right? No, no growth. Boring. I mean, it's just like what's boring about it. I was I was excited about it. Every every single track, I was excited for the next track. I was like, oh, I can't hear what the next. Can't wait to hear what the next thing is. Well, I guess it's just his skills have gone gotten so much better. Like he's, you know, I think there is growth, but again, I, just I don't feel like know he keeps this going man. back to the same well of like of what. Like I can't believe he's still rapping about Christopher Reeves and that stuff. That song was from two thousand five. Then why is it on the album? So you don't get it. <laughs> these people man they go i get what he's trying to do and then the one time you go yeah well that song is from 2005 why i don't get that i haven't heard that i don't uh, yeah i don't know but but you no are but then he talks about bitch. it in the next song why are you doing this and it's like that's the point i know and i find the point to be redundant i think stupid. it's vulnerable I think it's vulnerable, and I think it's a night nice, also a, a good way of looking into. Well, speaking yourself. of Beavis and Butthead, white privilege. I mean, to me, he's the definition of it. You 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 think he got his obviously fame for he's being vi- white? no no no. He's very talented, but just like he just keeps getting pushed. Like, who cares? Well, first of all, like the MTV Music Awards this year, right? He opened it up. Mm-hmm. Who cares about? Like, shouldn't Kendrick? be there i mean it's the vmas it's not fucking yeah, the VMAs the oscars suck. nobody cares about it no it's the mtv music awards like what do you what do you and what, i feel what like do you that's want? where he lives and that's like his like thing and well they've just... been like really good to him mm-hmm. you know he's he's gotten tons of awards he's had why won't he's you had... hold my hand i've been trying to hold i don't want to hold your hand i don't even want to look at you right now i know you're pretty mad at me about this <laughs> i just uh it's such a moot conversation because i disagree like and you disagree Mm -hmm. and it's all subjective so we're never gonna reach a point and i also don't feel like convincing anybody of to like what i like politics you know now that it's It's exactly like politics now that it's december and we know donald trump's gonna be president yeah there's no reason to convince people otherwise you know it is what it is at this point you know congratulations dictator trump (laughs) we're i'm i'm here for you i just learned how to say kamala right too i've been calling kamala 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 i've been calling her Kamala this whole time. I know. It's Kamala. Kamala. I saw a sign in our neighborhood that said cats for Kamala, which I thought was pretty cute. Meow. Meow. Um, but it was also unfair because my cat can't vote mm. because he's a registered sex offender. This would be a good time for a sound effect. Yeah. Boy, yo, 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 yoing. Nicole's over there writing her thesis paper. She's going, working with psychopaths. <laughs> Conclusion. <laughs> there is no future. <laughs> so who are you voting for? Um, I'm going to vote for Kamala just because of how much I hate Elon Musk. Yeah. You know what? That's a really good point. I think. Yeah, uh, I really don't like that guy. I think Trump even knows that Elon endorsing him was like a bad idea. You saw that picture where he's like jumping up and Trump's like, oh, God. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't like Elon Musk either. Mm-mm. He seems uh, he bothers me. 
because he's like the he's the richest guy in the world. Mm-hmm. You know, he's going back and forth between him and old Zuckerberg. Um, Jew is is Mark Zuckerberg a Jew? I created Facebook. I don't know. You know, <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg. If he was more Jewish, oh God, you know, it's called the social network, and now I have a bunch of friends. <laughs> I think this is where you blur the line of like. Pretending to be dumb and being dumb because you're also dumb. I am so, I mean, dumb, it's one so of those things where ta- sometimes oh, when you're pretending. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about politics as like I'm smart or anything. No, I, don't I know. know anything. I'm talking about you being like, but I'm also dumb. I'm not saying I'm not dumb. Yeah. But like that was blurring the lines of being dumb or not. Because well, like, that was is, a sincere question. I know. And that's why it's so dumb. Yeah. His name's Mark Zuckerberg. And that makes me feel dumb too. Because how the hell so he is, is somebody named Zuckerberg not Jewish? So he's not Jewish. I mean, he's got to be. Can we check that? He yeah, is Jewish. Jewish. So oh. you asking that yeah. is so dumb. Goes, me goes, not knowing makes me feel dumb. He goes, I have a great website where you can make friends and you can poke your friends if you want to say hello or whatever. <laughs> <you know? laughs> is that good? I don't he know. He goes, you can sell commerce on it now. It's pretty great. <laughs> That's when we should have knew. <laughs> as soon as he meant uh-huh. Facebook Marketplace, you go, oh. Mm-hmm. He goes, oh, can, it's pretty cold in here. He can drop the Zucker. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's Mark Berg. Um, he stinks too. But um, but yeah, Elon, I just he's this so is what corny, I don't like man. about Elon. He's corny. Very corny. He's you know, he's he's all about like you can't say anything anymore when it's like you're allowed to do whatever you want, dude. You just uh-huh. bought a fucking company and you can say whatever you want on it. Like shut the fuck up. That whole thing of like we can't say anything anymore. It's like Yes, you can. Mm-hmm. Secondly, mm. not like that was a point at all. I just, you know, I just said, no, that was my point. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's, squ- also, let's, let's skip to fourthly. Fourthly, uh-huh. I don't like that he's like the richest man in the world. And from what I've seen, he hasn't helped anybody. But yeah. I could be wrong about that. Fact check me. Fact check me, cat, cl- cl- clip, cl- chat. Well, <laughs> when you're that rich, I think you can just throw money at like, um, just like a charity. I'm sure. He's... Anytime rich people give to charity though, or start their own charity, I always go, "You are trying to avoid the taxes? Uh-huh. Is that what this is? You are trying to avoid the taxes? Probably. Um, but uh, I don't know. It's just like one of those things of like, no matter how much money you have, you're still a loser. You just like, I'm dark mega. Or whatever right. the hell he talks. He just talks like a Right, weirdo. he names his fucking kid a bunch of letters. Xerox machine. Yeah, we get it. You like robots. Uh-huh. Did you see that he fucking... Uh, banged a robot? Huh? Banged a robot? Did he bang a robot? I don't know. <laughs> I bet he did, because he came out with these robots, this bus... Well, the, the dude from iRobot is suing Elon Musk for, like, taking his ideas or some shit like that. That's so funny. Why are we in such a rush for the robots to take us over, too? I know. I don't really understand that. I don't want any robots near me. Why I don't do care. Need... I don't even like a Roomba. Yeah. I barely like having an, Ale- <laughs> an Alexa. Like, like I don't like... Sometimes when I'm like, okay, shut up, I go, is that going to come back and like haunt me? You know what I mean? I mean, they're constantly listening to us. Hey, uh, hey Alex. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I no, absolutely. Say it. I, don't wanna, I don't want anything to do with her. Uh-huh. I just tell her to turn the lights off and what the weather is, and that's fucking it. Alexa, get my gun so I can think about my mother. You know she heard that. Yeah, she's hearing it. She's hearing it. Alexa, get my gun so I can think of my mother. What no. if a gun floated in No, here? she goes, ooh. <laughs> you go, Tupac's ghost, finally <laughs> delivering. I'm a ghost now. <laughs> I got the. Oh, he actually what? has a song called Ghost. He too. does. It's a good song. It's a great song. How's mm-hmm. that song go? Um, it definitely he does, and then he's fucked up. But he's I'm like, I'm ghost. a ghost. Yeah. yeah, I'm ghost. Yeah. How the fuck does that song go? That's, I love the Tupac Eminem song. That that song is great. Oh, thanks. One day at a time. Yeah, thanks for. Uh, it's thanks. one of my favorite Eminem verses. It's a great verse by Eminem. We could only learn to take our anger and our hate, control, control our, our mental, control our mental state. state. Set it down and then set it straight. Maybe we, Maybe we can learn to take, take a second, second to pump, pump the, brakes the brakes before we, we set, set it, it, regret let it later, it, let it escalate. and let it escalate. Because then because it's, just, then too it's just too late. 
There's so, so much, much we, we can take. take. There's only, only so, so much, much someone, someone can, can swallow or tolerate, tolerate to the point to where he where just breaks, breaks and snaps, snaps and it's all it takes. And you, and you think, think we'd, we'd be learning from other rappers' mistakes, but we ain't. It's plain to go against. Against. That was cute. That was, was cute so of us. Intimate. Yeah, we were like, I was, I that was I'm cute. You're you looking it. me right in my eyes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go against uh, whatever, one day at a time. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Eminem's the best. Nas is fine. What else? What's your favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> Can I guess? Sure. Green. You got green vibes. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I think everybody that that's favorite color is green. We all kind of have the same vibe. Okay, so your favorite color is green too. You yes. found something to agree on. Emerald green. Yeah, let's find something to agree on. Is finally. that emerald green? This is like foresty emerald green, mm-hmm. kind of. Mm. Not not whatever Nicole's wearing. I'm thinking about. Oh, I like your color too. It's very Irish. It's very Irish. Irish. Oh, oh, Irish. Irish. oh, Irish. oh Irish. my name's Nicole. Oh, why is Eminem so much better than Nas? <laughs> oh, everybody likes... I think it's likes... because I'm, a, I'm Irish. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, green's a good color. You know, happy holidays, everybody out there. Yeah, you let know? me ask you some Christmas stuff. Reason for the season, folks. Because you like Christmas. Are you Jewish? Nope. You're not Jewish. Irish Catholic. Despite the face. Love you, Jesus. Um, we all love Jesus. Uh-huh. Um, I wish I was Jewish, though. I thought about when I why? first... <laughs> show business weather um no um (laughs) i thought about when i first moved to new york to change my name to tommy weintraub you were gonna change it to something jewish a stage name tommy weintraub (laughs) traub tommy weintraub traub yeah weintraub why i thought it would maybe give me a leg up in this goofy business (laughs) why who knows what would have happened why not schwartz tommy schwartz tommy schwartz I don't know. I just, for some reason, like Tommy Weintraub. Where did you even hear that name? Is that a real name? I thought it up in my little noggin, Brendan. Oh, okay. I'm asking too many questions here. You son of a bitch. Follow the money. You go, you should have. I go, I finally get to a place where I'm like, (laughs) why did you? And you go, you shouldn't have asked questions. (laughs) Yeah, it's too many questions, Brendan. Now think of your mom so I can shoot you in the head. Great. So now this, let me, I'm going to tell you something for the last few minutes of the podcast. Well. What's you up? keep going back yeah. to the gun mom well, well and I'm going to lay it out. <laughs> it has not been funny uh, you're right. since the second time we said it. <laughs> kind of why I acknowledged it right there. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, it was such a wine trout thing to do. Maybe That's we, what we'll call it. Whenever somebody it keeps, keeps doing a runner. Let's we'll cut go, all this those. Guy, <laughs> this guy's doing a wine trout right really now. He's wine trout right now. Yeah, he's really wine trout. Mm-hmm. Um, Sounds anti Semitic. <laughs> and that's because it, it is. It is, folks. Yes. Uh, yes. Now let me grab my gun. <laughs> all right. Sorry. So, closing statements. Mm. In conclusion, mm-hmm. why are you gay? I don't know. I think the longer you live in New York, the gayer you become. And I don't think I'm gay, but I think I can appreciate an attractive fella. I don't want to do anything with him. But, you know, you can look at a guy and be like, hey, he's good looking. Sure. Who 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 do you got in your mind for that? Who's an attractive fella? Yeah. We were talking about Spider-Man. I mean, that Andrew Garfield, he's a hunk. Andrew good Garfield is a hunk. He just endorsed uh, Gaza. I saw that. He went, oh, God, everybody, we got to. I think he just was like saying it's sad that. Children get murdered. Yeah, why aren't people at this point just going like, man, it's just sad on on both sides. It's Listen, now that it's Christmas. So sad. Now that it's Christmas time in October. Yeah. I mean, what is it? What's the deal with war? You know what I mean? Right. Are we ever going to end I'm gonna this ask thing? Santa. One day at Christmas, men won't be boys. You know that song? No. Playing is with that toys like kids, but bombs with toys. Anyway, no, it's a great song. Stevie Wonder. Oh, um, and other people. I saw Stevie What's your Wonder. favorite Christmas song? That one, I think, because it's a uh, song no one knows. People know it. It's very popular. This Christmas, that's a good one. To hang all the mistletoe. I'm gonna get to know you better. I used to have a joke about um, Grandma going, got run over by a reindeer. Uh huh. I think I remember go, it a little. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. The whole song is actually just. Grandpa killed grandma because mm-hmm. because uh it's like I don't know there's a line in it where it's like 
Um, you may say there's no such thing as Santa, but as for me and Grandpa, we believe. It's like, so you're a little kid, and Grandpa is trying yeah. to convince you. It wasn't sure. a good joke, but... Sure. You know. Um, yeah. There's a lot of those those jokes. I feel like I... Ugh, those jokes where they're like di- dissecting music. Sure. It happens with rap songs all the time. Biggie Smalls said he was going to fuck a kid. Uh-huh. What? There is that one of... Uh... That I feel like so many comedians have that one joke of like, baby, it's cold outside. Oh, and yeah. Like, oh, he's just trying to. <laughs> I used to try to do a joke about that. So yeah, you were one. <laughs> uh, I would try to do a joke about um, how I don't think that that's a song about someone trying to rape someone. I thought it, it's just how you get women back then. Sure. You go, stay at my house. They go, they have to pretend I'm not a slut. No. And you go, Come on, like the come on and like the coercing, that was all a part of it back then. Now For social media, sure. Now that now you really need consent. You really need like now if it's like I really can't stay. Okay, mm-hmm. that's how that song goes. Okay, it's over. It's a it's TikTok over. video. Oh, oh, okay. And then it's actually pretty funny. The, we should shoot what that. What happens in is I really can't <laughs> stay, and then they go okay, and then they leave, and then they text them the next night and go. Hey, I, I what happened last night? You kind of just got out. You kind of just left. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to go. All right. Well, what are you doing tonight? I see where you're I'm going. I'm seeing with it. my mom. <laughs> Can we book something for the weekend? You're very nice, <laughs> but I think I just want to be friends. You go. Do you have any <laughs> friends? You, <laughs> <laughs> you, you just continue. You go, that's okay. To me, I think we should shoot it. Instead of all of that other stuff that you just did, I think the new version of that song is, baby, it's cold outside. I really should go. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Yeah, you go, I guess that's I'll it. order you an Uber even though you didn't suck my cack. <laughs> 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 all right. You want to plug anything? You got any dates? You want uh, your Instagram, anything like that? Sure. Cassidy Comedy on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, I have a podcast called Cat Daddy and the Pizza Squirrel. It's a sports radio podcast. We do it every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. live on YouTube, baby. Check live it out. Live on YouTube. And we'll see you next time. The Rap Jack Black and Sag Daddy. I'm back at it with a fantastic podcast for your asses. Yapping in a trap like a rescue cat. And the rescued up like they're waiting on the Batman. You tuned into the dude who threw booze back. Blacked out, woke up drunk, covered in bruises. It's Sag Daddy the Pod, an odd fellow. The great white chubby, I'm becoming a marshmallow. It's Sag Daddy the Pod, so sit back and relax. Cause like a broken arm, I got a cast now. It's Sag Daddy the Pod, you made a good choice. So enjoy, don't be annoyed. Now here's my dumb voice. So recognizable scheme as a Unreliable diary of a guy who's higher than a freaking diving board I'm tired, call me Biden, you as like Cause you a lion with your wardrobe Give that back, you ain't that guy, bro Kaleidoscope stripping, goddamn, I'm tripping Sipping shroom tea, looking at a blank television Got a girl here gripping, thinking we'll do some business But that's the last thing that I want Seriously Big dog, I'm on shirts now Still scared that my house is gonna burn down I'm a rare card, an old Charizard Getting BJ's on a bench of a promenade Don't know what to do, I got a lot of problems Lot of emotional truths, I have some menage I'm getting robbed every time I get a coffee Cause six bucks is just too much uh. Dream team, me and Galeen and the four Beatles Kidnapping whores illegally, pumping them full of needles Eating Chinese till Steven asks us to order a pizza Walk to run to get it, I can't do either It's Sag Daddy the Pod, don't think twice Just bob your head, dealing your chicken with no rice It's Sag Daddy the Pod, and on God I won't stop Unless I wanna, that's kinda the deal, huh? It's Sag Daddy the Pod, no need to deviate Your ears are not the only holes and I'm about to penetrate It's Sag Daddy the Pod, so thanks for tuning in Truman Show Flow, if I don't see you, you can suck my dick